Hi there, welcome to my Pilates butt workout. We've got 20 minutes of dedicated glute work to do today using different working positions so that we really target all those muscle fibers of your glutes. We're going to use a long band today and a loop band if you've got one, although do be aware you can do these exercises without them if you want to. We have a short warm up and also a cool down with this workout. So grab your mat and let's get ready to go. Seated on your mat for the warm up, or you can sit on a cushion if that's more comfortable for you. And we're gonna start with a roll down. So exhale as you roll down, take a breath in, and exhale, stack up your spine. And do three more of these, nice and gently warming up through the spine, rolling back up. You're gonna allow your arms to just slide down your legs as you roll down, keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed, and rolling up. And let's do one more of those. Exhale as you roll down, take a breath in, and then exhale up. Stay at the top, reach your arms forward, open up your arm and rotate, come back to center and do the same the other way. And center, and we've got three more of those each way. Now again, you're trying to sit comfortably upright as you do this, and we're just gently warming up through the spine. And again. And just one more of these each way. Okay, from here, you're gonna nice and carefully roll down onto your mat, all the way down so your head is supported. Bend your knees in, feet flat, legs are hip distance, ready for some hip rolls. So from here, take a breath in, and as you exhale, you're gonna roll your spine off the mat, find a ski slope at the top, and then exhale as you roll and peel back down. And do three more of those, just rolling up and down. Again, we're warming up through the spine, but also through the hips in this movement. Keep the legs parallel as you're rolling. Do one more of those before we add on to this. Okay, this time again, add a walk at the top. So roll up and hold, bring one leg up and down, other leg up and down, rolling all the way down. We're gonna do that again, but other leg first this time. So roll up, hold and bring the leg up to tabletop and down. Other leg up, keeping the hips lifted, rolling all the way down. Do two more of these, so roll it up, keep strong at the top as you do the leg lifts. And then melt your spine back down. And let's do one more for the end of our warm up. Lift and lower the legs and rolling all the way back down. Here's our first exercise, the hip lift. You're gonna use a band for this if you've got it. So place the band around your hips, anchor it down to the mat with your hands. Lift your heels and you're gonna lift the hips up against the band and lower down with control. You're gonna keep these going up and down. Now that top position, think ski slope, so you're not arching your back. With the heels lifted, we're getting a little bit more muscle activation through the calf muscles, the muscles at the back of the leg, which will help the glute activation, as will the press down of your arms. So keep pressing your arms down, keep the heels lifted. Keep the heels centered though, so make sure you're not rolling your ankles out. And we have four more. And last one, beautiful. Different leg position for the hip pulses with frog legs. So bring your heels and feet together, knees out. You're gonna keep that frog shape. We're lifting with three pulses here. So lift and pulse, three, two, one, and down. That's your pattern, you're gonna keep it going. This frog shape, we'll get just a little bit more activation through your glute max, so your big glute muscles. Think strong and straight in that top position, keeping the knees turned out, about shoulder width is good. So you will be slightly on the outside edges of your feet for this, and that's okay as long as it feels okay for you. And last one. 
onto the heels for the hip lift and walk. We're gonna be lifting the hips, bringing one leg up and then lowering everything down. Same on the other side. Lift nice and strong. Two more of these. So lift leg up and down again. And then down. Now lift and hold. You're gonna tap the heel down, stay strong. Lift it up and everything comes down. Do the same on the other side. So lift and hold, tap the heel down and up, everything down. Back to the walks for four. So lift and hold and down. Beautiful, press and lift and down. We're walking, two more. Keeping nice and strong, pressing through the arms as well. Now lift and hold, keep the hips lifted. Tap the heel down and up and everything comes down. Same on the other side, lift down and up with that heel and everything down. Onto your forearms next for donkey kicks and fire hydrants. So you're gonna kick one leg up towards the ceiling and down five times. Keeping the hips level, keeping the upper body nice and strong. And then you're gonna take the leg out to the side, keeping the knee bent five times. Trying to keep the hips as level as you can as you do this and think of squeezing your side glutes. And let's do that again, up and down five times. Think heel to ceiling, squeezing your glutes as the leg goes up. and then out to the side five times. And just make sure you're not sinking through your shoulders. Stay nice and strong. Okay, we're gonna swap sides, same thing. So heel up to ceiling five times. Exhale as you lift. And again, keeping the hips nice and level and square and keeping the abs connected so that you're not sinking into your low back. And out to the side five times. So if you can only go out to the side a little bit, don't worry, we all have different ranges. Just make sure you think of squeezing those side glutes. And one more set of each, so up for five. And just double check again that you're not sinking through your shoulders. Keep your head in line with your upper spine. And to the side five times. Last five. Last two. And last one. Leg circles, come back to your first leg, reach it long up to the ceiling, and you're gonna circle the legs, small and controlled, eight times, keeping your body nice and still. And when you've done your eight, reverse your circles. I think really long, strong leg as you do these, you're reaching it up at that diagonal, just checking that you're not arching your back. And when you've done your eight in that direction, you're gonna swap sides. So reach the leg long and away from you, abs connected, strong upper body and eight circles. Small and controlled. Not too fast, but not too super slow. And reverse for eight. Stay strong with your upper body. And when you've done your eight, you're gonna lower that leg with control. Okay, you're gonna grab a chair or you can lean against the wall for the standing leg lifts. We're gonna lift and lower the legs slowly four times, slow and controlled, abs on so you're not arching your back. And then lift and pulse for three, two, one, and lower. Do that again, lift and pulse. Two, one, and lower. Back to the singles. So four slow controlled singles. And again, squeeze the glutes. And 
and take it to the pulses this time for three, two, one, and again. And do one more set before you change sides. Changing sides, so let's do four leg raises and then two sets of pulses, three pulses. And you're gonna do that whole sequence three times. So four slow leg raises. And two sets of three pulses. And one more set of all of that. Well done. Grab a band if you have it for the side squats. And you're gonna take it side to side, squatting and lifting, squatting and lifting. And then we go the other way. Try and make sure your legs are making a really symmetrical shape. You're not allowing the knees to roll or collapse in as you do these. And you're sitting into the movement. So the band is great for these, but if you don't have a band, don't worry. If you have a loop band, it works well, or a long band, you could just tie around your legs as well. And we've got one more set. Beautiful. On to banded deadlifts next. So ideally you do need a long band for this. You're gonna step onto the band, walk your hands down the band so it's fairly short, and then stand up nice and tall at the top. Arms stay straight throughout. Then from here, you're gonna hinge at your hips, allow the knees to bend, but keep a straight spine and then push up strongly using your glutes, come up to stand. And you're gonna keep those going. Think of hinging at your hips and then pushing up using your glutes. So bear in mind, this isn't a squat, it is a deadlift action. So the knees do bend, but only enough to sort of accommodate your movement of your hips and spine. And we're using a band for these, but you could use weights if you preferred or heavy cans or bags of sugar. And you've got two more. Last one. Now into a four point kneeling position for the banded leg press and you're gonna press away and bend in. Key things here, keep the hips and shoulders square and level. Bear in mind, we're working with a band, but you can work without a band if you want to. Just really focus on getting a really strong, straight leg at the end of the movement and controlling the way in. This one does feel great with a band though. You've got a nice resistance to work against. And let's go three more on this side. And swapping sides. So again, check that the hips and shoulders are square, spine is long, and your head is in line with your upper spine. And then press away nice and strongly, keeping the hips level and bring it in. Now make sure you control the inward movement. And also just double check that you're not going so high with that leg that your lower back is arching. You wanna keep that lovely neutral position Resisting the band on the way in and keeping the hips square. And you've got three more on this side.
last one. Onto your side next for side legs with rotation, no band needed. Bottom leg is bent, top leg straight, hips stacked. Now rotate that top leg down and you're gonna tap down and up eight times with control. Foot is flexed. Four more and just make sure the leg is in line with your torso, it's not forwards. Last one. Now hold the leg still, rotate it up and you're gonna now pulse up and slightly back for eight. Keep your abs on so your lower back isn't arching. And then let's go back to the turned in position. So foot is flexed, you're tapping down for eight. Check that the hips are staying stacked. That top hand on the top hip helps. And then rotate the leg up again. The foot can be softly pointed for these. And think up and slightly back but keep the abs on and feel your glutes as you're working. Okay, we're gonna swap sides, same thing. So key things are make sure you keep the hips stacked and that top leg is in line with your torso, not forwards. Rotate the leg in to start off with, toes point down slightly and you're gonna tap it down and up eight times with control. And then hold the leg still and you're going to rotate it up and slightly back as you press up for eight. And then flex the foot and turn it down again, tapping down for eight. And then rotating up and out and pressing up for eight. And four more. Okay, back to bridging. And this one works great if you can put a band around your knees. We're gonna lift up into a hips up position, hold that position. Arms are reaching gently up towards the ceiling, so you've got no help from your hands, and we're pressing out against the band, keeping the hips lifted. And you've got roughly a minute of this. You're gonna hold your position with the hips up. By taking the arms away, we've in effect added more weight for the glutes to have to hold up there. And you're gonna control that movement out and in with your knees. You've got roughly 20 seconds left. And roughly 10 seconds. And lower with control. No band needed for the heel squeeze prone. You're gonna turn onto your front, rest your head onto your hands, bend your knees, make a frog shake so heels together, toes apart. Now you're gonna squeeze your heels together, lift your knees just off the mat and at the same time, just hover your upper body off the mat and then down. And you're gonna keep that going. So squeeze and lift and down with control. So make sure you've got a really good connection through your abs so your lower back isn't arching and you're only floating the knees off a fraction. But think of squeezing the heels and squeezing your glutes as you lift. Try and keep the shoulders nice and wide, keep a long neck. And just one more. Time to cool down now after the heel squeeze. So let your legs go nice and long and give them a good shake. Just shake them out, shake them, shake them, shake them. And then when you're ready, you're gonna come up and over into a shell stretch so that you can just relax and release your spine. Rolling back up. You're gonna come onto your back next and you can have a cushion behind your head if that's more comfortable for you. Ready for a figure four stretch. So you're gonna cross your right ankle over your left knee. You're going to lift. And you're gonna hold on 
under your left leg and use your arms to just very gently bounce both legs in towards you. Just helping to release the muscles that we worked, release the fascia. And then take your right hand onto the right knee and just gently pulse that knee in and out. We're just getting that lovely movement through that hip joint. A nice sense of release, hopefully. And then we're gonna to swap to the other side. So left ankle over right knee. You're going to lift, hold on under your right knee and gently pulse both legs in towards you. Nice and easy, just what feels good. And then left hand on the left knee and just gently pulse that knee in and out. Getting that movement through the hip socket. And then uncross, have a little hug of your knees, one hand on each knee and circle the knees away from each other, just doing little hip circles here. Five in each direction. And then carefully placing the feet down. Take your arms out to the side. You're going to allow your knees to go to one side, head in the opposite direction. Take a breath in and then exhale back to center all the way to the other side. Coming up to sitting when you're ready, guys, we finished for today. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.